Hey my friends, welcome back. Yeah, today's video we're gonna paint some African wildlife. Yeah, we start with the center part, the rhino itself. See, I am using a canvas. Size is 40 by 60 centimeters. Um, stretched canvas on a yeah wooden frame. I did a pencil pre-sketch, and then I start with just these three. Yeah, kind of base colors to yeah, flesh out the rhino here. What I try here is to yeah, kind of set in the, the, the rough base colors for each section um, in a very thick way because we want to later on not um, yeah, visit the whole um, pre-sketch again, the whole underpainting again. Therefore I didn't thin down the colors too much it's quite a very thick um, yeah, consistency of those colors. Um, yeah, kind of just trying to get in the, the, the rough um, three base colors, as you can see here. The, the nearly black one, the bit reddish, brownish one, and the base color in kind of a already little bit of a blended way. Um, yeah, to kind of flesh out um, the rough shape of the rhino and the yeah, location of the yeah, shadow areas and the yeah, basically squint your eyes and yeah, have a look at the reference photo and then you get what I did here. Kind of just yeah, setting in those rough color patches as kind of the underpainting. Yeah, and from there on I started to build up the background, the savannah kind of thing, some grass, some bushes in the back and yeah to really focus on the rhino we yeah went pretty blurry in the back um, to really help to keep the interest on the rhino itself instead of getting distracted too much by the yeah, background vegetation. Uh, it's already the same going on here, basically. Yeah, squinting your eyes and kind of yeah, putting in those color patches, um, roughly the way they look on the reference photo. Very, very blended. Very, yeah, non-detailed. Then I yeah, grab some detail brushes here, as you can see, start to, after I completely let the painting dry for a couple of days, really make sure it's completely bone dry, um, yeah, mix some fresh little pools of color and start to build up the background first. And you see the trees have all kinds of, yeah, colors to them, brownish ones, grayish ones, very light ones, where the sun basically hits in. <clears throat> and uh, the main thing here is really that um, those background parts really need to be very blurry, very non-detailed, kind of, especially in those back areas, or the street trunk here that I'm putting in and yeah, I'm switching the colors here and there, getting lighter and darker. Using thinner, yeah, layer of color to really, yeah, kind of flesh out the background, and then I, yeah, start to build up the, yeah, bush behind the rhino, and this one needs to be a bit more, yeah, in the focus, a bit more, a bit more unblurry, kind of. And therefore, I, yeah, invested more time here by setting in the mid tone value first, then I yeah, add the shadow areas to see with a flat brush using the edge of this flat brush. And then I started to yeah, add even more with a very fine round soft brush, the, the darkest parts here, areas kind of. I did blend them down a bit this soft uh, round brush 
Then I grabbed another um, clean, soft, round, long brush and start to yeah, apply the detail parts, the little sticks, branches that yeah, kind of are visible in this um, behind and in front of those uh, leaves that we just hinted. Getting darker, some areas. Um, yeah, really kind of detailing this out a bit more than we did before. Then I start to put in those leaf details. Again, I'm not painting the whole thing through. I just um, hint them here and there. It still needs to be a bit yeah, blurry, kind of, to really make sure that you don't distract the viewer too much from the rhino. Um, may sound a bit weird, but um, it really helps when you yeah, keep a bit back from the details um, in the background parts, um, so that the viewer's eye basically is yeah, kind of drawn back into the yeah, center part. In this case, the rhino, um, little trick, kind of, yeah. yeah. Then I start to flash out to really shape, give volume, final volume, the final details to the, the rhino itself. See, I'm yeah, using quite a bit of a color variation. We have reds, we have browns, we have some grayish parts. And then to connect the whole thing, I'm adding, yeah, again, strategically some grass bits and pieces here and there to yeah, cover the color video just applied to kind of push the rhino back behind those grass bits and yeah, detail kind of is king on the rhino here, you can see. Yeah, basically, oh, just for you. Um, This video here is also available as a full-time, real-time tutorial on my Patreon. Link is on the screen now. There we have this video in a version of over five hours of pure in-detail in painting, along uh, over 100 other uh, videos. Meanwhile, really make sure to check it out. It's really worth the, I think, eight, seven euros a month. Yeah, and then we kind of stipple on, um, wipers on the color, on the yeah, background color, as you can see here. Again, we have lots of different um, shades. We have these reddish ones, stomach area, we have the gray colors here, and yeah, I think that very dark one, and blend it, and you will have a very 3D looking um, yeah, belly of this beast here. Yeah, it's all about, now it's all about details, little spots and parts that the viewer's eye kind of, yeah, gets hooked in. <clears throat> and the same goes for the, yeah, grass part here, as you can see. I'm just using a soft, round brush and start to, yeah, put on some grass bits and pieces here. In this case, we need to go detailed, therefore I'm going very, yeah, fine detailed here. Then I start to add some grass that's in the yeah, sunlit area over these parts here. It didn't took quite too long and we, yeah, kind of ended up having yeah, really realistic looking grass part below the yeah, stomach of this Rhino here. I'm adding some yeah, ribs in the back end. I'm really constantly readjusting, reassessing, stepping back from the painting. I mean, this is not a big painting, but you still need to step back and then really reassess is it enough color here and there? Do you need more details? Do you need other colors here and there? I think this is very important. And then I start to build up the the yeah the, the horned part of the of the foot of this yeah rhino kind of and uh, yeah this part kind of is yeah shiny reflective and this is something you need to put in 
by uh, just um, mixing in some titanium white on these still wet colors here. You see, I'm yeah readjusting the size and the yeah shape here and there again, trying to connect it with the background color, but still yeah having the contrast that you really need to make it look um, yeah very yeah realistic and very yeah that the viewer's eye really is drawn into this whole thing. I think this is very very important. Yeah, I'm adding more details, more grass bits and parts here and there. Again, just strategically, strategically, not all over the place. Yeah, I think that's the, one of the most fun parts. Those detailing parts here in the front. Yeah, this is the finished painting. Yeah, um, hit that subscribe button, that like button and yeah, see you next time. Bye.